There is a consensus that what we have discovered is a new particle in nature, okay? and associated with that, a new field. The Higgs is a field um, that permeates the entire universe. It fills the entire universe. It's invisible to the naked eye. When our matter interacts with this Higgs, Higgs field, um, it interacts in a way similar to fish swimming in an ocean. So a large fish um, going through you know, the ocean will feel more resistance or viscosity compared to a smaller fish. So likewise, the different types of particles in nature that we're made up of um, interact with the Higgs in a similar way. You can think of the Higgs as some ocean that fills the entire universe. It's invisible to us. But as we move through this ocean that fills the universe, um, we get slowed down. There's an inertia that comes from us interacting, similar to the way the fish interacts with the ocean. Think of the Higgs field as the ocean and the ripples, okay, or the disturbance of the Higgs field as the Higgs particle. So if I disturb the Higgs field, I can create a Higgs particle, just like I can disturb the ocean and get ripples in the water. So this analogy actually goes further than that, because we, one, one of the things that the underlying physics that governs the Higgs phenomenon, which is the Higgs field and the Higgs particle, is something called quantum physics. And quantum physics tells us that matter has wave-like properties and particle-like properties. So if I disturb this Higgs field, I get a wave-like property. But we can easily interpret that wave-like property through quantum mechanics as a particle. And that particle will be the Higgs particle. So in some ways, what we can do is matter, as it moves through this Higgs field, it could disturb the Higgs field okay, and create a Higgs particle. And that's exactly what the Large Hadron Collider, um, that's how we were able to see the Higgs particle. We were able to disturb the Higgs field. The data as it stands um, favors a Higgs particle and a Higgs field. One of the things that is going on and we're um, in preparation to do is to study the beast in more detail. And that will distinguish whether or not it's a true Higgs, a modified Higgs, so a Higgs with properties that endows matter to mass to everything, but it has extra things that we didn't expect. This might be very interesting in its own right because it might lead us in a new direction that we didn't expect. It might lead us to a new portal of new physics that we were not smart enough to anticipate.